here with Martina Truco from The Future. That's or, right. Or HPE. We got a lot of Star Trek stuff Either here. Way. What's going on? This is really cool, what we get to show off here, because what we're actually showing at Hewlett Packard Enterprise Discover 2016 is our partnership with Paramount Pictures. So what you're seeing here are props from the new Star Trek Beyond movie that's coming out this year. We have some props here that were actually used in the movie, not just this Kelvin pod that we're looking at here, but some props that were actually developed with researchers and software developers from Hewlett Packard Labs and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Why did they come to you? Well, I think they came to us because they get what we're working on with the machine, which we think is going to change the future of technology, right? We are working on the next big computing architecture. We're leaving behind all the inefficiencies of the past and we're absolutely transforming computing for the future. And we think that we had this great opportunity to work with the Star Trek filmmakers because they asked us, you know, how can we imagine what technology is going to look like in the future? And they thought, you know, what better place to go than Hewlett Packard Labs and HPE. So, so that's kind of cool. So you've got the props here, and your scientists have actually helped kind of dream up what these devices would look like hundreds of years in the future. That's right. Exactly, and all the things that we have here, what's really interesting is that they are you know, very data-driven futures that we look at, and when we look at where we are today, if you think about the explosion of data that's coming, today's systems will eventually be overwhelmed, and so we think the machine is a new way to do that. So all these things that we're looking at that are in the movie are these things that are very rich and data-enabled, and so one of them is really interesting without giving away you know, too much of the plot, which we're not allowed to do, but there is a, th is a thing called the corner Quarantine. And it's really this immersive experience where this, you know, the machine would be able to drive this experience to find out everything about, you know, a character or maybe somebody who's not a human and find out a little bit more about that, you know, that person and everything about them and diagnose them and find out, you know, what do they need to know about them and see if they're friend or foe. So what we're showing here is the diagnostic wrap, which is a really futuristic kind of fusion of hardware that we'd actually be able to open up and use in the future that would bring together the data from a person and actually be able to figure out what's wrong with them if they have some sort of a medical condition and be able to do that very quickly with a lot of data driven into it. When we look at the book, you can see that this is sort of a device that really brings together big data and this kind of seamless mobility world and integrates it into these data-rich systems so that you can have, imagine all of the information that anyone has ever created being accessible at the tip of your fingers when you have this book. And the quarantine is really our vision for what the data center or the you know operation center of the future could look like with a really interactive reality experience that really fuses together this advanced you know big data analytics and kind of makes it come to life in the data center of the future. Well, you work with the labs. Like you're seeing some of this technology that you guys have envisioned, like hundreds of years in the future. Do you think we can get there faster? I think we can, personally, um, and we are really excited about it with the machine. So that's really what we are driving towards because the, we think the machine is really going to help us get to that future that we will all been enabling and envisioning in the science fiction movies, right? So you know, we look at the Star Trek world and that's you know 200 or 250 years into the future, and we think we can get there faster if we enable people, businesses customers, thinkers, governments, you know, you name it, people of tomorrow to be able to do these things faster and better with their data and not be sort of held back by their technology. Very cool. Thanks for coming on the show. All right. Well, thanks so much for we're having gonna, we're me. We're going to do this. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper.